Halo, kali ini kita bakal main Red Dead Redemption 2 lagi. Uh, langsung aja. Can I help you? Oh, looks like you boys had some trouble. <laughs> yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables, I think. Thank you. And, uh, sorry for your troubles, friend. It's okay, girl. everybody and there's troubles everywhere bandits attacked my fields and have you met my partner arthur morgan no i met your son the sheriff okay mr gray here was saying how he had problems with a family a family of degenerates oh well nobody likes degenerates the hag and her inbred sons they ruined this county they killed my uncle you know That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you... five thousand. Five thousand? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these five thousand dollar horses? Over in Clemens Cove. The fellow over there will run them out of state and give you fifty cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. his tobacco crop. That was you? The old man was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. Burning rich folks property? Sean was like a pig in shit. I'm sure. Five thousand for horses. They must be rich. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. Now how are we gonna play this? Place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment. With Mr. Braithwaite, I believe? Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Yeah. I 
nice and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Okay, girl. Alright, I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. Alright, let's hitch up here. Oof. Let me do the talking. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs, available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. This here's Cerberus. A hot greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy, Easy now. Easy there. Easy. It's okay. Yeah. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. This way. Come on. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two! What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said stop! Keep going! 
I'll get him. Whoa, now. Now easy there. Yeah. Whoa. Just over there, come on. Let's get this over with. Easy. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Whoa! you boys want heard you was uh, heard you pay good prices for horses oh we'll buy more or less anything pop that so sure pop I'm Clay Davies that's my brother Clive we're twins John Arthur Javier <clears throat> so what are you Cuban no I don't like Cubans that's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right, you goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys. But nice meeting you. See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believe the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Hey, Arthur. C can I have a quick word? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? <sighs> Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he, like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said... Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. Oh, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. Uh, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. 
I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Come on then, you miserable bastards. Playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellas were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you've scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Cross. Thanks. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. Bear! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Shit! Hey, think I say something? Oh, great. Let's go, Arthur! Let's go! Yeah! Here. Quick! Go on. 
Get out of here. Get out of here. Go on. I'll see you later. All right. Let's get out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Oh. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light. Over by the house. Damn! Hey, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, 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 why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Clay, Clay, tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! <laughs> Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellas! Yeah. Hope you're ready to die! Move, move. Ah! More on the right here! Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's got enough to secure it. We got more of the bastards on this side.
going, Bill. We'll try to lose him in the woods. Let's split up a bit. Try to confuse him. Arthur, with me. Anything dumb, Williamson, you're on your own. Oh, shut the hell up. Quick. Behind these rocks. They're coming. Perfect. You take the left and I'll take the right, okay? You're right on my right. You see anything? Not yet. Get the hell off me! Made a meal out of that, didn't you? Uh, this is a young man's game. Uh oh, clearly those boys ain't as quiet as us. Guess we should go give them a pass. Deal with you later. Uh, we got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got coal on our backs. It was an honest hey, mistake. Hey, leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. Ya, sampai situ dulu videonya. Kalau kalian suka video ini, kalian bisa like, subscribe, dan komen di bawah. Terima kasih buat nonton. Then you better not drop it. You better not. Come on, you pair of cream pies. Do you want this rally to happen or not? Why does this always happen to me? <laughs> I just can't win. Well, there's two more. Well, shit. Guess they got what was coming. Corruption personified. Out. We'll cut you Ooh. down. You ain't much of a fighter, huh? Uh. 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 Uh.